Right, guys. So you certainly would hate to hear about someone neglecting a dog like Nico right here. By the way, Nico up for adoption. Adoption fees waived here today and tomorrow. He's a good dog. So we recently talked with the head of DPS, which oversees city animal control. Now, he told us about tough punishments for those who neglect their dog in the heat. Oh, get that undercarriage. We're keeping dogs cool outside starting the next couple days will be a challenge with blistering heat about to hit us. The city's Department of Public Safety chief just talked to us about new measures, including mandatory cooling of your dog when temperatures hit 105 degrees or above. They have to provide for the ability for the dog to be able to cool themselves off. So that can be with um, a misters, using a swamp pool, or bringing the dog um, near or inside for air conditioning. Also, you can't tether your dog outside when there's a national weather heat alert, which is expected with rising temperatures. And this is a message the DPS chief wants people to know. Our animal control officers have the authority to immediately remove an animal for its welfare and, uh, and safety if they suspect that there's cruelty. If the case goes to court, a judge has the authority to prohibit the person from having animals. For an injury to a dog, someone could lose their pet for a minimum of a month, up to four years. If a dog dies, you might not be able to own another pet for five years. It feels so good, huh, princess? Measures to keep our little friends safe. <laughs> All right, once again, you're taking a live look at Nico here, who is up for adoption. Adoption fees waived today and tomorrow. Now, I'm told that Nico is a pretty mellow dog, uh, likes the couch, likes hot dogs as well, better than treats, but I guess I can understand that. All right, so the Animal Foundation, uh, on a serious note, took in a dog last week, uh, found in a hot car. It was a small dog. Animal Control actually had to bust out the windows, and it was 122 degrees inside that car, but that dog is okay. Reporting live from the Animal Foundation, Joe V. Hill, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.